Well, the place of youth in political parties, rallies, campaigns, and eventual uh, activities when it comes to ruling and uh, carrying out all of the promises that they've made cannot be overemphasized. And uh, this is one of the issues we would be discussing today on iBrand Daybreak. And joining us to further converse on this is Mazi Chinedum Obioha a public affairs analyst. Good morning, Mazi. Thank you for joining yeah, us. Thank you very much for having me. It's my pleasure. Good morning. Well, well, we know that uh, INEC, the Independent National Electoral Commission, has come out to say that uh, enough youth, many youth have registered for their PVCs for these elections and that it is higher than the previous ones that we've been seeing. In fact, they say that about 70% of the uh, voters are the recent voters uh, for the uh, continuous voters registration are youth. And so it goes to show that uh, these, the outcome of this election would be determined by youth. What are your thoughts? Yeah, well, it's possible. Um, he has also urged you to go out and pick their PVC and vote. Mm -hmm. um, from the look of things, I think uh, uh, Nigerian youth needs to take the bone by the horn. They need to make sure that uh, they correct the um, wrong um, things happening in Nigeria. Uh, the youths are the future of tomorrow, but unfortunately, some of the youths um, are still sleeping. I think I want to sincerely agree with the INEC chairman um, that this election is primarily to be won by the youth. Mm. So I agree with him. But, but do you think that the youths are actually, because it's not just about getting your PVCs, mm -hmm. it's also going out on election day to vote. Most times during elections, we see the roads filled with youths playing football, football yeah. and, you know, taking advantage of the, the lack of activities on the streets of Lagos and other states to do their own, you know, leisure and not going out to actually vote. Do you think things will change this time yeah, around? Yeah, 2023 election is not going to be the same. Okay. Uh, there, there could be any, an improvement. The youth are uh, the ones um, badly affected because their future has been um, damaged or destroyed. So I, I think um, what will happen come February 2023, 20, uh, 20, uh, 25th uh, of the day, the youth are going to come out in mass to vote. Not only mm -hmm. picking their PVC, not only good. No, last time I was here, some time ago I was here, I, I monitored some of the elections, of, or the, or the, some of the polling booths, and all the streets. Some of the youths are, were playing, but it's not mm -hmm. going to be um, like that again. The youth are worried because things are bad. And if they don't get it right now, <clears throat> there'll be a problem. So because they've seen their future as bleak, so they want to get back the country that belongs to them. So the youth are going to sincerely, in every sense of responsibility, the youth are going to come out and vote. That is my own take. But, uh, you know, anything can happen because of discouragement. But what will even make them not to come out if there is any doubt in the system? But for what we are saying now, if you monitor the collection of the PVC, the interest in going out, even the interest in going out to register, mm. collecting the PVC, shouting, I've not collected my own. You may agree with me that the youth are ready to go out and vote. Mm. Okay, Ma Mazi, lo looking at the role of the youths now with, within a political landscape, um, for different political parties, oftentimes the, the post of the youth leader is um, just ceremonial, so to speak. We, we've not seen that active youth participation when it comes to political parties. I, I, we know how in time past, you know, several um, occupants of that position, the party's youth leader, is someone who is even an adult, an elderly person to start with. But now, looking at what we've seen from different political parties, especially the Labour Party now, how well do you think it is trying to involve the youths in its programs and policies? Uh, Sam, I think I don't, I don't want to believe that you want to drag me to where what I don't want to say, but then the Labour Party you you talked about, mm -hmm. um, I think uh, sixty-five percent to seventy percent are youth, and uh, that is what the presidential candidate is uh, asking them: your future, your destiny is in your, in your hand. You come out and take back the country. It's a very strong word. Take back the country that 
the, the country you dreamt of, the country that uh, we enjoyed. I came here last time, I said, uh, my generation, excluding me anyway, <laughs> have failed the nation. So the youth now, uh, don't, for, don't mind whether they are actively involved in whatever, whatever. Look at how they um, troop out during the Labour Party's rallies. Mm -hmm. And they, they even made it. If in Lagos here, yeah, um, some political parties don't allow even the, the Labour parties to campaign mm -hmm. freely. Even their posters are not allowed to be posted. I read somewhere, I was coming, what was coming on my mind was that uh, I read somewhere where a landlord in Lagos said, Look, I don't want my building to be burnt if I rent it out um, for Labour Labour Party. And the... Uh, um, this man, one of the um, one of the members of the uh, Labour Party, told me, I mean, he said them. Um, mm -hmm. He said that even in Lagos, they don't allow them to build their billboards. So what we are asking me is that the the, the level of the involvement of the youth in mm -hmm. this, the which are involved. If you sample opinion, I want you to carry a pool. Sample opinion all over the federation. I, I was as I was coming, I was listening to. Some of the radio conversations, they were asking the type of president you want. About, I mean, 80% that called in their youth. They get the quality of president they want. They say, the president that is not selfish. The president that will not say, it is my turn. The president will say, um, look, the country is bad. We have, we have to rescue this country. So, they are youth. The youth are ready. My advice to them is that, not only making mouth on air, mm -hmm. not only making mouth who are going to win, win, how can he win if you don't vote? So the youth are ready. That's my own assessment. Uh, what, what, what I would like to know is how do you think these parties, again, once dealing with labor for now, or delve to other parties, you know, with uh, time, um, in time rather, but how do you think the, the labor party now, from its manifesto, is willing to? You know, incorporates youths into its policies and you know means of governance. That's if he wins. Yes, from what we've seen from the manifesto, that's yeah, from the manifesto. I think uh, they they have a place. The youth have a place in their system. Okay. Assuming if they win, and they want to bring the younger people, they don't want to. You see, that there was something the presidential candidate said. They said they are accusing us we don't have structure. That is the structure we want to destroy. The structure of corruption. The structure of embezzlement, the structure of wickedness, the structure of it is my turn. That's the structure we want to. You see, we want to bring new people. I came here last time and I told you why you and some other people cannot be involved or get employment in the civil service because the the the, the, the other ones don't want to give rooms. So you will see that even it is only in the Labour Party that you can see some vibrant youth. The rest are the old people, the Methuselahs, that started this, uh, um, this uh, uh, democracy in 1999. They are still there. So what I want to know, I want to say is that um, the youth have a place in Labour Party. Okay. And honestly, um, the presidential candidate or Labour Party want to get the youth involved. They want to make sure that they take back the country as a, the country is bad. Though. I think you know that. The country is sick. And it, it, it doesn't need ordinary surgery. You need a, a complicated cleansing. Because if you, you see, those that say it must be this, they are the ones that are troubling Israel. So they want to get the youth involved. You have to learn. Don't forget that maybe you may say they don't have experience. No. And the, uh, the vice president said, don't talk, don't talk about the experience. Talk about what? The history. You, have, you heard him say it. So don't say experience. Not everybody will survive experience. Let me give you an um, example of experience. The rest of you say the speed limit is 100, 120. And you are riding on 160, 200. Then you want someone to learn by experience. In the process you are driving and you some assaulted, will you be able to survive? That is experience you're talking about. But history, what happened presently, presently and how do we move it forward? So we don't want yesterday to repeat itself again. Okay. Yesterday is gone. We want to move this country forward. The only way we can do it is to get new people. 
those who will be sincere, those who have conscience. Conscience is key. Character. Character is key. What do you have? Goodwill. Moral. These people do not have moral. They don't have moral. How can they be saying, my, it is my turn? How can they say, be saying, uh, my experience, this is, we don't need all this. We need a neutral person or persons to pilot the affairs of this country. Because we have seen myself. At the time and again, I came here and I told you how much I was earning when I started a job. Can you go and register in labor now, labor office? In those days, 70s, you finish a secondary school, you go to any labor office in any state, register. They will not send for you. They will send for you. Go to two so place. There's vacancy there. You go there, you've been interviewed. But then the, the, the jobs were everywhere. I remember when I uh, got to Sokoto in 1976, I went to register in uh, labor office. I was invited. Passport office invited me. Radio Nigeria invited me. I didn't tell you. I started even my life in Radio Nigeria in 1976. Mm -hmm. Right? Then uh, Sokoto Furniture invited me. So there were so many choices. But now it doesn't happen like that. Even in CBM, before any... Because they want to fulfill all the righteousness. Before any vacancy is made, no, they've occupied it. And then PC, how many person can get employed in any, now? They now bring in, even police. So we want the youth to take over this country. We, the elderly ones, who have done you for evil. Mark my word. We have done you evil. We have done this country evil. That have been in, in the hem of our face since 1960 till now. We have done you for evil. We have enjoyed it all. But we don't want you to enjoy. Now, how much is a little of fuel? So it's unfortunate. I remember the driver that was bringing me, I started chatting. When I wrote my, my professional exam, 1983, it's a bank as London. How much was pounds? 0 0.83. I can bring you the debit note. 0 0.83. To one pound, not dollar. No, one the, the, pound. The, the, so all these things this are gone. Are, yeah, these are existent issues, and they've been on even mm -hmm. before the era of uh, uh, democracy. But let's look at the fact that uh, these uh, party structures. For instance, you've talked about the structure of the Labour Party, saying that it is accommodative of the youth. But we've seen that also happen in other parties. For instance, the APC recently set up their uh, party's youth campaign structure in the uh, north central geopolitical zone and they're talking about garnering the votes of about 10 million youth in that zone so the question is is it about just having a structure for the youth in your party in your campaign because most times they feel that because these youth are agile they have the gusto oh. the 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 uh, vigor and all that it takes to go from state to state to campaign to serve as thugs and you know, carrying out all manner of political and electoral malpractices. Is it just about having the structure or having that intention, that determination, that will to involve this youth when it, it comes it, to it is, it, getting it, it the is power? Having the determination, the zeal, the will to make sure that this country is moved forward. Forget about having how many millions of votes of voters you will get. Let me give you an example. Andy Oba, during the primaries of uh, Anambra... Um, um, Central? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Anambra, when he contested for Anambra oh, okay. governorship, governorship election, he said he won the primaries by 240,000. You had him. Mm -hmm. But when the chips are down, when he, the main election came up, how many did he secure? I think 14,000. Uh, 14, Forget about the number of people they Even APC said they are assured of they have registered members of 40 million. Abi? 40 million registered members, which means 40 million will vote for them. How are they sure? We are talking about getting involved, being allowed to take the home by the So, board. with the political structure, I'm saying that. Th these parties having the youth political structure, having uh, you know, giving the youth that power or that space to participate fully in their campaign, their rallies, and all of their. They, they want to use well, them to win the election. That's my question. Exactly. They want to use translate. them. Let me answer you. Good. They want to use them and win the election, and thereafter dump them. I want to sincerely, with due respect, tell you that. After using them to win the election, how many of them will have a, be able to have access to them? 
the phone number they used to call them before even their phone rings, they will pick it. Now, I oh, have, have done this. They will, those phone numbers will be switched up on the uh, uh, they will put uh, the voice to it. They will make sure they don't have access to them. How many persons do you expect them to, um, to, to attend to? So they are using the youths. They are using the, their energy. They are using their strength. They are using whatever they have, right, to win in this election, to win the election, to attack the opponents. But when they get there, the youths are... So how can we... But then, but then, there's a party. I'm not saying without any fear of contradiction. Mm. Okay. There's one party that the youths are saying, even though all of them are the same, they let us trust this person. What, what's, not, the, what's the measure? Uh, what's the guarantee okay. that this particular the party that you are talking the about? The guarantee is, is this. We have tried these persons. We have tried these persons. Let us try this one. Oh, so it's a trial be, and be, error. Be, it's a trial and error. But you see, politicians are politicians. Mm -hmm. They can change any time. But then, the youth are saying, I, I, I was going somewhere. Was it not on Friday? Yeah, I was going to um, one of my uh, persons. Uh, Somewhere, I, I listened attentively in KK. Uh, because most times I like to board to listen to people so that when I come here, I will not be saying something I don't know. The KK carried about that's four four persons, and I listened attentively. And the, along the um, that's where we have the former literary office, right? At all by side. Okay, okay, so we met the M M PDP rally they were going for rally and i mean campaign so sit there and those two three, uh, three boys said let them go we will collect their money we will not vote for them one of them say all of them that the same will bet you will not vote for these two political parties we want to make sure we try another person M so that is the point M the youth have made up their mind some youth anyway let me not generalize okay. it. some youth have made up their mind to say I would be like Daniel, you know Daniel, right? Mm -hmm. Not Samson. Daniel, <laughs> I will refuse to eat the king's meat. Try me after ten days. Bring your your people, bring your other uh, other kings, other whatever, and they test us. I'll be more healthier. So I will be like them, so that when we try them again, we can try another person. If the one we are planning to vote for fails us. They will come bring another person. That as for these two political parties, they've done us a lot of people. Okay, they, well, that's their sayings. So me, to me, I, uh, you know, like I said, I might not vote that because I will be one of the students to analyze that things. I may even decide to vote because uh, my this is have they registered me to be one of the uh, to go for a monitor. But what I want to tell you is this: I read somewhere where America said that two twenty twenty three election in Nigeria will be unpredictable. Hmm. You don't know where it's going. But I, I, I don't want to take it. I don't want to uh, divert from another place. So what do I say? Like, the youth are radio. How much will they are? I will now say maybe 55%, 60%. But we want them to make it up to 70, 80. Because the future is bleak. Their future. So they, if they don't get it right, Samson, if you people... Uh, but if you don't get it right now, I'll be in the studio. But Marzi, yeah, you'll be in the studio, <laughs> but you, you will not be out of the economy. No, no, no. <laughs> l let me get your thoughts on this. I mean, for all of these talks of, oh, the youths are ready, they're mobilizing, they're you know, energized for the election day proper, where's the role of the youths in terms of governance and politicking, in terms of joining these political parties from the grassroots world level, trying to influence, you know, the party's uh, policies and decisions, ideologies, which we know right now is s seemingly non-existent. But in terms of forming genuine political ideologies for these parties, getting actively involved so that probably by 2027, we will have them in positions of power. And when I mean positions of power, not just uh, one or two slots, but, you know, fill at least 40% of the slots. Because it's one thing to have the um, youths actively involved when it comes to campaigning. It's another thing to have them in terms of governance itself. And that has to start from youths being actively involved in the political process, politics, you know, world level and all of that. So what's the question there? 
the question there is simple how can these parties embrace these youths into their political structure not just in terms of oh youth leader which is like a ceremony by giving them position. some opportunities to serve okay as commissioners as ministers as head of um, government departments and other things you begin to give them small jobs to try we want to have them in national assemblies we want to have them in state assemblies gradually little by little say a thoughtful ball moment by moment we shall overcome so i want to believe that they will have to be integrated into the system study the system and come out perfect by 2027. But a situation where a political party only want to use them and dump them again, the use are done. If the, any political party's aim, objective, is to use them and achieve what they want, and the youth themselves agreed, then something is wrong with the youth. How many of these people can bring that their children to be in the forefront of campaign? But you know, Mars, the power is in self mm -hmm. a la carte. You have to go out for it and take it. So it's not just about. I, I, I agree, agree with you. Big wigs, I agree with you. I agree with you. You see, in a decent society, what is happening now? Do you see it? I, I, I wanted to ask you a question sometime. I came here and said, with all this political um, attacking one personality today, where is the place of this? Uh, um, what do you call it? The, the, the peace, uh, whatever. Peace Accord. Peace, peace uh, Accord. Committee, yeah. And they just, they, uh, they just woke up last, last weekend. What has happened? That was happened? the second. No, was the second. They, the they first, already had yeah. well, I know now. Time. I know. During the first was the inauguration. The second one was this one. My, 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 my worry is that where have they, where have they been? Election is about the moon now. But, but where have they been? Where some state, some, um, uh, um, yes, some state don't allow opening um, their opposition parties to, to uh, build their billboard, don't allow attacking personalities. Thank God they mentioned it. We don't want you to tell us this man how he dressed. Marzi, we don't want this man to tell us how much. We want you to tell us what you have for us. Marzi, not let attacking personalities, let which has been the order of the day. Okay, let, let me chip in quickly. That those who tell you that the National Peace Committee, led by the former head of state, Abdul Salam Abubakar, mm. is probably just you know another figurehead body because and I we've, had, them. we've had several yeah, peace happening? accords mm. signed in time past. You know, when it comes to elections, and we still see electoral violence on the rise. We see all of we are saying this. Uh, so, you and I were saying the same thing because to me that they have no purposes. Exactly, and they, to the me it should be scrapped. It's a way of compensating some people. I don't want to. I hope they didn't hear me. <laughs> Otherwise, they should have stood up and said, "And look, Mr. Pre Mr. President, to be look, we don't want all this thing you are saying. Tell Nigerians what you want to do to them. Not how uh, Tulumbu was sleeping. Not how uh, Obi um, cannot do whatever. Not what uh, article. We don't need that. Leave that one. Tell us how you want to take us from this poverty headquarters of the." Poverty, uh, uh, the world uh, headquarters of the poverty. Tell us, tell us how a cup of garlic can come back to one naira. Tell us how a uh, pump uh, fuel will be up to uh, 14 naira. Tell us, tell us how naira will come to what I mentioned. This is what you want to tell us how to how you will end the insecurity. Not this. I I, I was in studio last week. One of your radio stations. Somebody was saying something. I don't know what I, my I say. My friend. I don't know how old you were during the Civil War. Pray not that there's no war. Pray. Pray that you don't experience what we experienced in the 1960s. So, the youth, this is the time. It's not my time again. How many years do I have to live? Well, God, I can, God, I, God can call me any time, even in this studio. Don't be, don't be surprised. He can go, God can invite you in here. You can't say no. You and the rest here, this is the time to salvage this country. This is a time to bring this country back. Mm -hmm. No, this is not the country our father showed us about. This is not the country that the Nanda Zik, Zik, um, Awolo, they, they live for us. Look at the unity they were having. Even though they had some differences. differences. They were united. The, 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 the objective was to rescue Nigeria from the British colony. So they did that, and they handed over to us. 
That will mess it. My, my, my generation mess it up. The military came, mess it up. The politician came and they destroy everything. So it is the time for you and the Bola and the rest of people here to make sure you go out and vote. Vote wisely, reasonably. Well, according to your conscience, anyway. But your conscience should be t made um, towards electing a very credible person who has conscience, who fears God. Not everybody that goes to church is a Christian. Not everybody that goes to the mosque is a Muslim. Not you, see, you must vote somebody who say no, 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 no. I, I just I want to serve. It's a service. Leadership service. It's a sacrifice. What is sacrifice? Sacrifice. What just like uh, Abraham did, giving out his best, and that is what even God did, giving out his best. And it wasn't easy for God uh, to give Marzi, it we, we know that this is getting all emotional, but uh, apparently it's the time for the youth, and you already mm -hmm. said that in clear terms. And we hope that the youth are also ready to take part. That is my honest prayer. So be given to if them you don't go out to vote, oh. now you sabio. Well, we'll take a break now. Marzi is still with us to delve into other issues. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>